all of our experiences are shaped as we go. And so if a, a parent suffered traumatic experiences, their outlook's going to be shifted um, and they're going to instill that on their kids. And I'll, I'll never forget it. When I was in my heavily avoidant stage of, of trying to process grief and loss and, and, and not necessarily just through the grief of my partner, but like, you know, the grieving of my career or my injuries and things like that. And um, it, it, it's a sort of a, a great little kind of, exercise to, to to go through like when I was in highly avoidant states I remember the psychologist trying to bring me on the journey would say to me if you don't figure this out like do you want to be a mom do you want to be you know even a great auntie and it's like of course I do I'd pride myself on that and I would love to be a mom one day it's not in my immediate future but I would love that and she's like if you don't deal with your trauma now you're going to pass it on to your kid or you're going to pass it on to your nephew like, so if it was your child genetically if I was to give birth they won't ever be able to process my trauma because it'll pass on through DNA and they can't actually make sense of it. I can because I lived through it and it's up to me to process that. But if I was to give birth to a child genetically with unprocessed trauma, they'll often be going, why do I feel so anxious? Why do I feel like I've got unresolved stuff going on? They can't even figure it out. And how could you ever expect them to process it if they didn't live through it or, you know, see it or whatever? Um, and, and that's why there's so much vicarious trauma in Indigenous communities and things like that. And the poor things are so, you know, their minds are completely, um, you know, in stress for the most part of their life because they don't know how to process the things that they've gone through. And I think the same can be said for, for any kind of mentorship that we have with children. If we're sort of passing on our experiences and our hate of the world or the situation or the environment or whatever, they're going to feel that um, as well. So not necessarily genetically, but, you know, if I want to be the best auntie that I can be to my, you know, godchildren or my my genetic nephews and niece, um, then I want to be the, the best version of myself and present that to them so that I'm instilling my values on them as well. And they're seeing an adult play out kindness and gratitude and and compassion and all these sorts of things as well. So that, that was a, a profound moment where I probably started to delve a bit deeper into myself and go, I want to do the work here, if not for myself and for my future. And that that doesn't necessarily have, I have to be a mom if that didn't happen. But, um, you know, for all of the people in my life, my friends, my family, um, I want to always show up as the best version of myself. And, and I can't do that with, with unresolved things going on. So it really shifted me into that next gear for sure.